Is that just me or are you weird too? Just asking. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Veronica. I sell clothing and shoes part time on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, and Macari, sometimes on Depop as well. If you're not new here, welcome back. You may have seen me in this exact same position with the exact same getup and shirt and everything in a previous video where I showed you uh, the shoe haul and also clothing haul from my most recent New Jersey bins trip and some of those shoes are currently going for a swim in my bathtub, getting clean, and I have more shoes to show you. So we might as well just do it all in one day, record it in one day, and then I need to get to work on these shoes and get them cleaned up and get them listed. There are a lot, so let's not waste any time. So I went back to Virginia for Christmas. Uh, I dropped my kid off with his dad and that side of the family, and I went straight to the bins. I went to two bins locations in Virginia, the bins in Hampton, Virginia, which are my own OG ride or die favorite bins to go to. When I lived in Virginia, I would go there all the time. And then I also went to the Virginia Beach bins, cause why not? And those were so, so good for shoes. Oh my God, I, I don't know what happened. And I think the two plastic bags of shoes that I have are the Virginia Beach bins. And I will say, when I got there, you I, it was late in the day, so things were already kind of picked over and I still found so many good shoes, so I don't know what's going on because the Virginia bins are notorious for not rotating or only rotating specific bins, like shoes and handbags will usually rotate in hard goods, but clothes will not. Um, I actually have a video idea in the works where I'm comparing the bins in New Jersey to the bins in Virginia, so stay tuned for that. But let's start with some uh, Disney little kids shoes. Are they Disney? I don't even know. I think they're Disney. Spirit Untamed? Maybe they're not Disney. I have no idea. Honestly, I've never seen this movie, but it's a kid's toddler size 9 and they're super cute. They're like this denim canvas sneaker with flowers and all the good things. They're super adorable and they're in really good shape. They don't need any work other than a little bit of magic eraser, maybe. So I'm going to put that in that bag. <laughs> I have like three bags set up, okay? Bags that have shoes that you need to go for a bath in my bathtub or some other major cleaning shoes that are pretty much ready to go and then some shoes that um, just need like minor cleanup. Okay, these definitely need some good cleanup but I always pick these up when I find them. They're kids, little natives. Natives are kind of like Crocs, you know, water shoes, etc. Here's the uh, name. There's the logo too. And they usually have them on the sole as well. So if you can see that natives, these are a size uh, nine, children's size nine. So same as the spirit shoes over there. These definitely need a good cleanup, but just like Crocs, these clean up really well. If you just give them a little bath and then just scrub them down. I mean, sometimes I don't even do that because they're kids shoes and they're gonna get dirty anyway, but either way. All right, these I think are Steve Madden. And I think these were one of the first pairs I found because they're just, scream Steve Madden. Like if you know Steve Madden's shoot style, you know. But they're super cute. I like these. Um, they are this like, almost like a sock boot, but not really. And then they have the suede or faux suede, not sure. Could be, could be real suede, cause you know, uh, not sure. And they are an undetermined size. Good old Steve, not putting his sizes on the outsole. I thought I had found a size when I was there, but it might just be tricky in this lighting to see anything. Yeah, I will have to examine these a little bit closer, maybe compare them to other shoes I have, but they're in really good shape. Again, uh, the outsole just needs a little bit of a wipe down, if that, honestly. I'm actually gonna put them with the shoes that are pretty much ready to go. Then I found some Ugg slippers. And I'm fairly certain these are real. With Uggs, it's always tricky for me, but I'm, I'm looking for some, you know, signs that they could be fake. And I, for the most part, there are so many bad Ugg fakes out there that you spot them immediately. These, if they're fake, I think they're pretty decent, <laughs> but let's hope not. I mean, they have a little tag in here. They're size six. They're just like a little clog and have a little bit of a floral accent there. The logo looks good to me, but I'm definitely gonna uh, do some research, make sure that they're actually Ugg. They don't have anything on the outsole, which is a little bit odd to me, but it, it might just be the style. So these are size six, they're pretty small, but they're in good shape. They just need like a little bit of a brush of the, um, not Sherpa, what is it? Not Sherpa, uh, sheep's wool, whatever Uggs are made out of. Okay, these are super cute. I forgot what they are. Oh, they're dance goals. So interesting. 
Um, these are dance clothes, but not your typical dance clothes, I would say. And they do have some gunk on them, so definitely need to clean these up and do some magic with Doc Martens Wonder Balm. Ah, uh, these are so cute. Um, again, they're just a little bit stretchy up here, kind of like the Steve Maddens, but not really. Um, have that clog look and the, what are they called? I don't know. I can't think today. So they're a little bit like a Western boot. They're size 41. Dance go. The logo is on the sole, outsole, and I think on the insole as well. Yep. So size 41. I'm sure they're real leather. Not sure what style they are, but yeah, leather upper and lining balance man-made sole, but they're just really cute. I really like the style. Now they have some things that I need to sort out and f not fix, but just clean up and get them ready. So we're going to go in here. I found more Sanooks. I just showed you Sanooks in my previous haul, but we picked up some more because summer is coming eventually. These are some, I would say, men's flip-flops. They're in good shape. I mean, have some wear on the thread down here. Uh, they actually do have a size, yay. They're a US size 12, so these are gonna just get a little bit of a wipe down, disinfectant spray, and then they're good to go. Okay, we got more Crocs too, and then I will show you my two favorite, favorite pairs from this haul. So unbelievable um we get some crocs these are like a camo style which i think tends to do really well these are also in pretty good shape they don't need a lot of cleaning but i'll probably just put them in the tub with the rest of them they're a junior size two so like a i don't know eight ten year old maybe um yeah i will put them in the tub so that's you know what they might just need a wipe down they're honestly in such good shape but i'll just rinse them off and then we'll go from there okay favorite pair of shoes now <laughs> Let me tell you, again, these bins, these bins were already kind of picked over. Like they had been out for a while and people had been going through the shoes. And I don't know if people in Virginia don't know about this brand, but I do. So I picked them up and I picked up two of these pairs at the Virginia Beach bins and then one, spoiler alert, at the Hampton bins. And the Hampton bins were even more picked over. Um, and these are in good shape too. Oh my goodness. I found three pairs of Alberts. Okay, let's just just start with that. These I'm pretty sure are like a women's. I think they're all unisex though. They're like this maroon color Alberts in the back. And honestly, I don't think these are a size 10, but if they are, they might be mine. <gasps> they are a size 10. Mm. They look small. Um, I will try them on. And honestly, if they fit and feel good, I might keep them. So TBD on whether or not these will be for sale. I really like those. Then I found these that look a little bit more like a men's style and they're still tied together, but also all birds. They're also a little bit more of that like sock boot style, except they're low top. These are a size, uh, these are a men's 11. So a little bit bigger, men's 11. These definitely need a good wipe down. I might just toss them in the bathtub with the rest of them. So we'll see. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. I picked up a tiny little hard good for my kit. I have to wipe this down. Uh, these are size 11 red leather angle boot which is already a good thing uh, they're giorgio brutini private collection which i believe is a good brand genuine leather upper they're size 11 medium like i said and they have like a slight bit of scuffing and wear here and there oh my god look at them some gal or guy with really big feet needs these okay they're beautiful they're beautiful. I did comp them while I was at the bins, or at least the brand, not this particular shoe in itself. Ooh, they have some sticky stuff on the bottom, so you're gonna go in the pile that needs some goo on. <laughs> um, but yeah, they seem, this brand seems to be doing pretty well. Okay, these are some Rachel Zoe, which is not a brand I have a lot of luck with either, but I picked her up because they're cute and they're like a leather and then, you know, like pony hair, calf hair, whatever um, type of boot. They have a little bit of something going on here. You see that? Uh, so that I'll just probably have to figure out where it came from, what it is. And I don't think it's supposed to look that way, but <laughs> we'll see. Um, it may just be some loose threads there, but they seem to be in good shape overall. They're a dark brown. They're just really pretty. I really like them. They're size six, so also on the smaller end. But again, they don't really need any work. Um, I don't know if I showed you the logo. Rachel Zoe, I sometimes pick up her clothing. Um, it's very expensive clothing retail, but doesn't really resell too well for me. So we'll see how the shoes do. 
Alright, I found two pairs of hokas, and this is the first time I'm picking up hokas. Um, one pair was destroyed, I was really disappointed. But then at the second bin's location, again, I found another pair. And these are just dirty, but they're not destroyed. I found destroyed hokas before, but again, hoka oni oni. First time picking these up, so excited, finally found them. Um, and was able to pick them up because they were good in good shape. They do have, now that I'm looking at them, they do have some wear back here, which is something I struggle with, with my running shoes and sneakers too. But honestly, that can be easily fixed by putting on like the little blister cover things. So I think aside from that, they're still in good shape. They definitely have somewhere on the outsole, but honestly, I just wanted to pick up some hokas, even if I sell them for cheap. Um, I will just clean them. I'll probably just toss them in the wash with the rest of them. And I will just list them and see how much I can get for them. They're a nine and a half B, I think women's W Clifton eight. So if that means anything to you, yay. So we'll see how much we can get for them. Again, I just, I was so disappointed that the first pair that I found was destroyed and could not be repaired by me. So I was very, very happy that I found this one, even though it's not in pristine condition. I don't expect that. Um, it's still it's still a good find, I think. And then also first time, I think, finding this brand, or maybe the first time that I actually know what it is. This brand is Olukai, which I think is also doing pretty well still. These are kind of like a nice little slip on, um, not mesh, but definitely like airy fabric type little slip-on sneaker shoe. I'm pretty sure this is leather back here. I have not located a size on these. They're non-marking, so there's that. Um, yeah, oh, actually they are textile upper, upper. They are a woman's size eight, and they're the Pehea, Pehua? I don't know if this is a style name or not, and I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but I think they're from March 2020, so yay. They're like this dusty gray, dusty blue grayish color so very very cute women's size eight these just need a little bit of a wipe down and then they'll be good to go i hope my sd card will hang in there just for another minute but then i have to switch it out for the rest of these um these are sam edelman and <laughs> style i just had to pick them up they're so y2k retro um espadrilles really chunky block platform heel what's up like, come on, these are so awesome. Sam Edelman, uh, size 10, <laughs> they're my size, but I'm 5'8", you guys. If I wear these, I'm just towering over everybody else. So they're like a suede kind of upper in this dark blue, and they're in really good shape. They don't really need any work, so I was excited to find these. Good stuff. Definitely a little bit more bread and butter than some of these others, but hey, I'm on for the bread and butter. Then I found, I think, two pairs of Foot Joy. I don't know if I picked up both, but this one was in really good shape, again, at the Virginia Beach, beach bins, these Foot Joy golf shoes. I have a pair listed that I also found at the bins at some point that's getting some interest but hasn't sold yet, but these are in such good shape. Um, they need a little bit of a wipe down and clean up here. But other than that, they are good to go. All right, you guys, I'm gonna switch out my SD card and then we'll be back with this whole bag that I also picked up at the bins, the bag itself. Um, it is a, what's it called? A folding trolley dolly. And I saw this and I was like, you know what? This is gonna come handy in so many ways. Um, I wish it had wheels, but it doesn't. So I just picked it up and put my shoes in there. Okay, the angle may have slightly changed because I switched out my SD card and moved my camera around. Anyway, um, now moving on to the shoes that I picked up during my initial trip in the morning to the Hampton bins. I showed up there right when they opened. So I didn't go to the shoes immediately. I probably should have. I just dug through the piles and piles of clothing and oh God, I picked up so many clothes there. Um, definitely picked up more clothing at the first location and more shoes at the second. But uh, these were cute. These are Jojo Sivas and I really don't know much about her other than she recently came out and she's like a what, Disney child star person? I don't know. Uh, she wears like a side ponytail, right? Um, size two. So these I just thought were really, really cute. Have the bow in the front for a younger girl, preteen girl. These might do well. And this is a good season to list them. It's almost a little bit late to list them, but they're so cute. They're black and purple, which pff, love them. I would wear these if they didn't have the bone if they were my size, but anyway, we're just gonna have to keep looking for our own shoes. Uh, these might be it, are these my size? These I picked up on my way out almost. You know, there's always like that bin that's close to the register and you're just like, oh, let me see what these are. Oh, they're 12 medium, so they're definitely too big for me. But I think that's why I picked them up. I don't know anything about this brand. It's called Solans, Solans. It's a size 12 medium, but these are, these are new. I mean, they have nowhere, you guys. 
and they're this like kind of suede feeling um, almost like a neoprene little ankle strap sandal again larger size women's shoes always sell for me okay these i picked up and i think nobody else knew about this brand or I don't know. I only knew about this brand because I have seen my friend Kay from Passports and Pizza Pies talk about this brand and pick this brand up. These are Hey Dudes. I don't really know much about them, but they're cute little shoes with like lightning flashes on there. Uh, hey Dude in the back too. They do need to be a little bit reshaped, but they seem to be in good condition overall somewhere on the outsole. They're a youth for ladies five. Um, they're the Wally Youth in Black Flash. Ooh, love a good style name. Love a style name, especially for shoes. Um, I have to like clip some loose threads and such, but yeah, they're really cute. If you're a lady who wears a size five or have a youngin' who wears a size youth four, hit me up. Um, these are gonna go in the wipe down pile. I also found these dance goes that are kind of lined and have a Vibram, I think it's Vibram, uh, outsole, here we go, uh, dance goes, probably should lead with that. They are waterproof, so that's nice, and they have a little bit of a spot on here that I have to clean, but they're like a suede upper, and then I guess it's a man-made, uh, yeah, faux fur lining. These are size 38, in case I haven't said that yet, so probably like a seven and a half, eight, maybe. They're just cute little slippers, so hopefully people are still interested in these. I mean, honestly, for me, I feel like winter and cold weather, sorry, there's fuzz, Winter cold weather, it's just starting. So even though Christmas has come and gone, actually they need to go on this path. Um, I think people will still shop for those kinds of shoes. All right, we got more Birkenstock. And these are, again, no idea what the style name is. I should know by now, I don't. These have a little bit of wear, but honestly compared to other Birkenstock I've picked up and seen, these are in pretty good shape. Um, definitely the outsole has, like the thread, has seen better days, but they're still, like if I feel them, there's still a good bit, you know, of material left there. So I think these will still sell. They also have a little bit of the insole peeling off back here. They're a size 40, so that's a ladies 9 Birkenstock, made in Germany. You can see it in there. I like a silver kind of leather upper. And these, I believe, are the narrow ones. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. If I didn't get it right again, it's a good chance that I messed it up. Um, okay, what else do we have? We have these cute little toddler shoes. They are smart fit leather collection in a size seven and a half they're just like these little leather toddler shoes super cute um these like kind of like more orthopedic just better for your kids feet type of shoes always sell for me they don't sell super high but a lot of times they sell really fast depending on the brand so i've never picked up this brand but they're a seven and a half smart fit and they have a little bit of scuffing in the front but i'll just go over those with my doc martens wonder balm and then they'll be good to go honestly with kids shoes i feel like people don't care if they have some scuffing i know i don't i picked up some nikes that need a good good oxy clean bath um they are a size seven and a half women's i would say light blue with a kind of iridescent swoosh really cute i really like these um i wish they were my size but yeah nike i don't pick up a lot of sneakers i will say i mean i just showed you a whole bunch of Allbirds and hokas but i don't really pick up a lot of sneakers so i'm still trying to figure out what does well um with brands like nike and such um also i will say i feel like at the bins you know you have your vintage t-shirt guys and then you have a lot of people just looking for sneakers and they know what they're doing and they pick up the what i assume are good ones so by the time i get to the sneakers it's probably like they're like oh i'm not gonna pick these up because they're only gonna sell for 25 but again at the bins why not i will say um at these bins in virginia um both locations they price shoes by the pair so they don't go by weight and adult shoes are 350 and then kids shoes are two dollars i usually average out my cost of goods across all items i pick up i have no idea what that is for this haul i know both halls combined um in hampton and virginia beach i spend around 130 dollars for everything but I mean, you see the shoes alone are totally worth that. So I don't know what my average cost of goods is yet. I still have to go through the clothing. I have to count everything, which I will probably do as I'm editing this video. And then I'll put my average cost of goods over here. I might break it down by average cost of goods per shoes. Again, some were kids, some were adults. But either way, it's not more than $3.50. And it's likely less because I got, you know, the $1, whatever, 29 cent price for the clothing. 
these are lugs i've sold this brand before just shoes that i had left over from my kid that he never wore but they were cute i don't know if these are gonna go for much i oh yeah i remember she was looking the cashier was looking for a size on these because i think their cutoff for like what's considered a kid shoe and an adult shoe is like a certain number size these are a us seven i think they're a 37 and a half european um i think on one of them i was able to spot it i think they're seven yeah, US 7. So US size 7 little leather boot by Lugs. Lugs, they're in pretty good shape. They have a nail in the sole that I'm going to pull out. Which, okay, tell me if you're weird like me, but if there's like little rocks or nails or things like that stuck to the sole of a shoe, it's the most satisfying thing to pull those out. Is that just me? Or are you weird too? Just asking. Anyway, um, I picked up more... Nope, not Dance Ghost, but similar. Allegria, Allegria, no idea how we pronounce this one in English, but they're floral and cute. I have a pair of these uh, similar ones in my closet that are not selling. I put, I think, one pair back at the bins, but these are just cute floral comfort shoe. I don't know. Uh, so far, I don't have much luck with this brand, but we're going to try her out. I also don't know what size these are. You may have to hold these up to something else. I tried to look all of these over and make sure I had a size, but... You know, if it's like a decent brand, decent shoe, and if I think I can figure it out, I might pick them up without a size. So I can't seem to find one for these, but I have so many other shoes with sizes. I can hold up to these and measure and such. Uh, we'll figure it out. These just need a little bit of a wipe down. Which that pod's getting pretty big. These definitely need a little bit more of a wipe down and brushing of the sole. These are the other pair of Foot Joy, and they are just in well-loved condition i mean cosmetically speaking structurally speaking i think they're fine i think i mean they have a lot of you know leftovers from the green in them but they're the other foot joy they're the dry joys tour i don't know what that means i'll look it up and yeah these just need a good scrub down they're white so you know naturally they'll be a little bit dirty and dingy uh size 10, 10, not medium, 10, men's 10, wow, men's size 10 foot joys, again, they're just, they're nasty, so <laughs> these are definitely going to get a good clean, let's put them here, oh my god, two more pairs, these, I didn't know this brand made shoes, but why not, um, and they seem to be in good shape, but I don't think I found a size for these either uh, they have a little bit of leather peeling on the inside, but either way, um, so these are these little slip-on ladies shoes and they are soft surroundings again i didn't know they made shoes i have to look up what this sort of like shape is called for a shoe like this opening here i'm sure it has a specific name again on this one over here there's a little bit of peeling on the insole but usually people are not bothered by that i'm sure there's ways to fix that as well again have not found a size on these well never mind eight and a half Made in China, kind of like a faux suede upper, very soft size, eight and a half, um, and have like just like a little bit of a hidden wedge here. And these are pretty much good to go. And then I think this is my last pair, yep, of Allbirds. So, first pair I found on that day, and was just like, <laughs> I picked these up and I was just looking around like, What's wrong with y'all but it just goes to show that everybody's looking for different things at the bins there were definitely a lot of people who seem to know what they're doing in their field in their like area you had your little group of vintage t-shirts dudes which were just every, every cliche that you could imagine about these guys that was them and so they were you know annoying as expected but they were just like walking past the shoes and looking at their t-shirts and i'm like all right well good for you i got some all birds and some hoka so yay um these are a women's size nine uh not sure what style they are but they're also similar these are just like a black all birds sneaker really good condition i have one pair listed right now that i found at the new jersey bins that has a little bit more wear it's like a lighter color and it's it's just not getting as much attention as i had hoped but honestly now that i have so many of them i'm just really excited and again that pair of maroon ones i might just keep for myself okay these um for all these Allbirds, i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the insoles definitely in the tub um these i might just wipe down otherwise so we should be good to go on these relatively quickly i will let you know somewhere on the screen if i try it on the red ones and if they fit and if they're mine now but other than that um we empty two big goodwill bags and also this dolly trolley trolley dolly folding dolly trolley bag 
this is really convenient. Um, again, it would be nice if it had wheels, but I think it just goes on a trolley thing. So anyway, it's a good shopping bag. If I still did my shopping in person and didn't have everything delivered, that would be a neat thing to bring. But this I, bags like this, I feel like you can always use them. Um, even if I use them to just lug all these shoes upstairs to <laughs> my inventory room where I will photograph them. I don't know. Okay, you guys, um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'll be back soon with the second part of this haul where we'll talk about the clothing. I don't think there were any hard goods or anything in there. If there were, they went straight to my kit because they were likely toys, so none of that. Um, I will see you guys very soon. Bis bald. Tschüss.